up guys welcome back to my channel we're gonna go to the dollar tree we're gonna go get some coffee because me and Ryder have wanted a Dunkin Donuts coffee and they activated their monthly reward so we can get free coffees I'm really excited about that because you know guys I love some free anyway um but yeah we're gonna go to the Dollar Tree and we're gonna see what 2023 has to offer in the Dollar Tree so far see if there's anything good see if they got any good deals and I do need to do my five dollar pantry stock up for the week So we are, which one, George? We're kind of sad because they were totally out of sweet cold foam. And there was a reward on the app that you could try their new biscuit bites for free. They were out, but they did give us some of those wraps for free. So that'll do. We are at the Dollar Tree. We're going to go in and we're taking you with us. We're going to have fun. We haven't been out of the house in a minute. When you haven't had coffee in a few days, <clears throat> you take that first sip. It just touches the soul, you know? Dollar Tree is calling our name. Oh, yeah. Are they open today? I hope so. Exactly. Oh, so ours is in the middle of stocking. <laughs> Where's the best Dollar Tree? New Mexico. New Mexico. That was the best. They had a lot of stuff. It's the vibes only, guys. Makes my soul so happy. <laughs> yes. I always check the date at Dollar Tree because they don't check these. Uh, Dollar Tree has the best price for shelf stable milk. And the best price on minced garlic. Yeah, their pepper is the best price here. Absolutely, hands down, best price for the pepper. Ryder and I just left the Dollar Tree. I decided to do a good pantry stock up there because they had things in stock that they have a really good price on. Um, their minced garlic, fantastic buy. Their breadcrumbs, you get a lot more for the same price as Walmart. So, yeah, I'm feeling good. I think we did a good job. My total was $17.50 before tax. I'm going to show you my pantry stock up for the Dollar Tree. Let's get to it. La la my oh my. Anyway, <coughs> get my budget binder out of the way. Okay, I got some electrolytes. Dusty likes to drink these. Um, is he weird? Probably, but he's he asked for those. So that's not pantry. That's just what I bought. He's probably going to drink that today. Anyways, I had to stock up on some shelf stable milk because I am out. And Dollar Tree has the best buy for shelf stable milk. I've never used this brand before. I always get the Dairy Pure, but they didn't have that. It's okay. Dollar Tree also has the best price on minced garlic. What is that? Ew. Um, yes, so stocked up on my minced garlic. They also have the best price on black pepper. Black pepper is insane everywhere. Not at the Dollar Tree. Had to get some soy sauce. Um, we like this. If you've never tried this, this is pretty dang good at the Dollar Tree. Pizza sauce. Their breadcrumbs, in my opinion, are a better deal than the ones at Walmart. They're the same price now at Walmart, and you get like four ounces less. 
And I always like to have parchment paper and aluminum foil. So that is my Dollar Tree pantry stock up for the week or the day. Yeah. If you guys have not started taking part in like the pantry challenge where you take like five, however much money you want, but I like to say around five dollars. I want to at least get five dollars worth of stuff for my pantry every week. Um, but you can do less if you want to do less or you can do more. But if you are not taking part in that, I highly encourage you to do so. So you can have a stock of food for when hard times hit or when you just don't want to go to the store. Like you're cooking dinner, you're in the middle. Oh my gosh, you don't have any milk. But guess what does? Your pantry. This is one of the biggest things that I try to preach to people is have a pantry, at least something small. For just in case it is very important to me and my family to do this food insecurity scares me to death it's just i hate it i hate it and i want everybody to have food security so if you haven't started your five dollar pantry challenge yet i encourage you to do so and it will give you a peace of mind and you will have things when you need it along with this video i'm going to show you one of our favorite lazy dinners yeah, lazy dinners are like my thing lately because I'm I'm busy. Um, but this one is really good, really lazy. We're gonna be making some Villa cheese steaks. Let's, let's do this. Let's make a good lazy dinner. Okay, for the main, you're gonna need, of course, the steakums. I'm gonna use Tatey Tots for the side. I'm putting these on hot dog buns because it's cheaper than buying those steak buns. I got a few of these snack bell peppers that I had in the fridge and we got a small onion. I'm gonna be, I am gonna be putting some seasonings in this and I will show you when we get there. I'm gonna of course start baking my tatie tots. These were on sale for $4.99 at Aldi. By the way, these are not normally that cheap. That was a good deal. The Walmart brand is like six or seven. So woohoo. And it says 10 steaks at the lot. I forgot to mention, I added like a tablespoon of olive oil in the pan just to help it cook. But you can use any fat. You can use butter, veggie, just whatever you have. All right, I'm just going to throw the raw steakums in the pan. Okay, the seasonings I like to use are, of course, garlic powder. Seasoned salt. I'm gonna do some pepper. Does this work? And I wanna dollop some minced garlic. Minced garlic. Ooh, oh, don't, don't do that. We're gonna be using some chicken. Chicken. We're gonna be using some beef bouillon powder. Probably a teaspoon in there. This gives it great flavor. I'm also going to sprinkle in probably a teaspoon to two teaspoons of Worcester Sister Shire sauce. <laughs> and when this is almost cooked through, I want to add some ketchup. Yep, that's what I said. Now, let's get to cooking this. As this is starting to cook, I'm going to go ahead and start chopping up my veg. And you know what? I just realized... I have a green bell pepper that's turning red because I didn't use it when I needed to the other day. So I'm using this so it doesn't go bad. Yay. bell pepper to use I'm actually just gonna lay these out <laughs> I want to I'm not gonna use these since I found that I had this green bell pepper I want to just let the kids snack on these crazy my kids eat these like apples
When it's almost done cooking, just a little bit of pink left, I added two tablespoons of ketchup. Alrighty, when this meat is done, this is what I do only because my kids are picky. I'm taking out just the meat and I'm gonna cook the veggies separate. This would have been so much easier if I had used a slotted spoon, but you know me, I like to make things difficult on myself, so I didn't. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, when these are pretty much cooked, I add back the meat, except Ryder and Collins. Cook this for about five more minutes to make sure the veggies are done. Then I'll show you the next step. All right, my friends, you are gonna take equal parts of mayo and ketchup and you're gonna mix it together to make the sauce for the fillies. We call this fancy sauce. It makes everything taste better. Oh no, Brooke. Okay, she's done. Oh my God, I didn't record any of that. Oh, okay. First step, we're gonna take a hot dog bun. <laughs> we're gonna add some fancy sauce. Fancy sauce. Add your meat. This is the one with no veg, because my kids are crazy and don't like the veggies. Sprinkle with cheese, however much cheese you want. Tons of cheese, little cheese. And then we are gonna bake these in the oven so it gets all melty. So now let me finish the rest and I'll be right back. After the cheese has melted in the oven, this is what they look like when they're opened up. <laughs> and now this is what it looks like when you just have it plated up and it is bomb.com. All right, cutie patootie, let's give that filly a go. Mmm, that's really good. Thanks, homie. All in all, that dinner took me about 20 minutes. So it's very quick. And you have to do a little bit, you know, with the chopping, but it's still a lazy dinner because it takes 20 minutes. Sorry, that made me really excited. But of course, if you try this, do your own spin, add things that you like. This is just the way we like it. And that fancy sauce is mom.com. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a fantastic new year. It's 2023. Let's be positive, let's be kind to one another, and let's make this year the best one yet. I love you guys. I will see you next video. Peace out. Bye.